Uh, good morning, this is Greg, N4KGL. I'm uh, messing around in the front yard uh, with the Alex Loop antenna. Uh, it's a magnetic loop that I'm very pleased with. Uh, works uh, HF from uh, 7 to uh, 30 megacycles. Um, a very, the most portable antenna other than maybe just a pure whip. <laughs> it's uh, very portable. All right, well, I have kind of some uh, toys here. <clears throat> this is a uh, SWR bridge, uh, essentially. It's from um, electroresales.com. And there, I have some radios that don't have built-in SWR meters, so I wanted some way to uh, tune, tune the loop to minimum SWR uh, out in the field uh, <clears throat> with a uh, uh, simple device. Uh, and that's just what this is. Um, <clears throat> of course, I've got the KX2 uh, here. Uh, which has a built-in SWR meter, so I don't really need this for the KX2, but uh, uh, my mountain topper, uh, I would need something. So this little device uh, uses the LED as an indicator. Uh, you press this button to uh, engage it, and the nice thing about this kind of SWR meter is it presents a very... Uh, good load to your uh, transmitter even when you're tuning. Uh, something to know about the mag loops is that when you tune you'll get an increase in noise and really that is pretty close to where you want to be. Uh, but if I were to use this uh, SWR meter, I would uh, uh, engage it there and give us a signal. And uh, the LED is kind of blue, but the game is to make it extinguish. And you can tell I'm a little bit all over the map here, but there it's extinguished. And by the way, we're 1.1 to 1 on the KX2 SWR meter. Of course, the real test is taking it out of the circuit and then putting the power to it. All right, well, we're 1.3 to 1. Uh, that's, that's pretty close. Uh, good enough. So, uh, for that situation where I'm using a rig like the mountain topper, uh, this is Something to have, the mountain topper and the Alex loop is kind of a minimum setup. Well, I also got another item from Electro Resales, and it's essentially a field strength meter. And um, so, uh, just playing around here. <clears throat> Uh, I'll get an indication here. It turns out the theory holds here that when you uh, turn the loop <laughs> uh, in line with the antenna that you're going to get uh, the maximum uh, uh, signal there. Uh, so if you're at right angles to the loop, uh, you will get a null. So actually I'm going to uh, tune the loop and watch the uh, meter which you may not be able to see everything but uh, actually I can really peak that up and it turns out that the peak is the lowest SWR so an alternative tuning method would be to use uh, this field strength meter. 
So uh, these little devices from Electro Resales are, are inexpensive and they may come in handy uh, in some situation. This one has a, a collapsible antenna, although it's hard to keep it <clears throat> from uh, flopping down. But, so this gives me a few possibilities uh, for some situations to be able to tune the Alex loop. And the way we tune it is with this uh, uh, knob under the box here, which is uh, operating the uh, uh, capacitor, which resonates the whole loop. Uh, so it's nice to see that uh, science is, is kind of with us today, and these little devices are behaving as we would like them to.